Hey guys, welcome back to VNJ Reviews. This is Vinny. And this is Joe. We have an important episode. I know it's pretty quick to do another chart update, but super important. You guys are going to want to stick around to see this. So the reason we're doing this chart update so quickly is for a few things. Number one, we wanted to take a look at Kefla just quickly and let you know some new information on her. Also, some uh, people were struggling a little bit with Vegito. And how does Vegito work with the God Key now? We wanted to explain that to you. And we wanted to add Anaraza or Analaza, whatever you want to call him. I like Anaraza better. We wanted to add Anaraza onto the chart and let you know where we think he stands. First off, we just want to take a quick one more look at Kefla. This is basically the same area we had scaled her in the previous chart. We did slightly actually increase her power. And I know a lot of people are probably like, increase? I thought that you had her too high originally. Well, actually, there's more evidence that suggests that she's actually right where we have her or even a little higher than we had her before. And one of the big pieces of evidence that we didn't actually state was the fact that it was mentioned by Weiss that she had rivaled the power of the spirit bomb when she was fighting Goku in her Super Saiyan Jin form. A lot of people had mentioned, well, Goku was in a weakened state, so it's really hard to tell how strong she was. I don't think she was that strong. But all indications point to she was this strong, but one thing that has nothing to do with Goku at a weakened state is the power of the spirit bomb. And when Goku used that spirit bomb on Jiren, it is minimally at least a Kaioken times 20 in strength, and probably a little bit higher than that. So on this chart, we gave you like a margin of error on where we believe the spirit bomb is. We think it's right around that spot as far as its power. We don't think it's too much higher because of the way, the context of the show and the way that Jiren got rid of the spirit bomb. If you remember, he held it back, I think, with his hand, and then he essentially blinked it away. And so by that context, the fact that he blinked it away would show us that it, it, it can't be too much more powerful than this, or else he wouldn't have been able to blink it away. He would have had to actually use a little bit more power. So does Kefla rival the spirit bomb on our chart? She does. It's just another piece of evidence that just says, hey, it's right on where it needs to be. So let's move on next quickly to talking about Vegito, because Vegito is something a lot of people struggle with. So what we want to do is focus your attention here on Goku. The thing is, is we did an episode on Goku's Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, 3, and Red Form, and how they work now that the God Key is as... Beera stated, burning within Goku. And we made a mention that Goku does not get the multiplier for his Super Saiyan forms with the God Key. There is no indication that ever suggests anywhere that he gets the multiplier. In fact, it's the complete opposite. We see that Goku, when he's fighting Beerus, he's in his Super Saiyan Jin form, and he notices no change in power. He doesn't even feel a difference at all, which indicates he's basically the same strength. He did not get a multiplier. And that continues forward as well. But we also, a lot of people struggled and they thought well maybe his base form was lower and he got the multiplier that way like his base form wasn't as strong as god and he got a 50 multiplier and when he got the 50 multiplier to super saiyan jinn then he was as strong as a god but that doesn't make sense because at the end of the fight with beerus goku nullified beerus's attack in the base form which suggests that his base form has got to be as powerful as a god so his base form is his powerful god and his super saiyan form he didn't know much of a difference so what happened here he didn't get a multiplier at all that's what happened basically his entire strength now is the god key and there's another important piece of evidence that shows this when goku sort of fell out of god form red and the key went within him all of a sudden Piccolo's reaction is really important because Piccolo immediately noticed that he could now sense Goku's key. And a lot of people will say, see, he could sense his key now. That means all of the key that Goku had is his whole power is his key now. It's the mortal key. But that's not the case because Piccolo's reaction would suggest he could only sense the same amount of key that Goku had before he went into God Form Red. Because if Goku's power was now all of his own, or if Goku got 50 times stronger, a 50 times multiplier, 
Piccolo's reaction would have been like, I can't believe what I'm sensing right now. Goku's power is immense. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. It's 50 times stronger than the God Form Red. He couldn't sense God Form Red, but if he could sense that and 50 times stronger or even just sense God Form Red, his reaction would have been like unbelievable. But how did Piccolo react? He was he was scared. He was worried because he felt that it was Goku's normal, regular Super Saiyan key, the same amount that he had felt before, and he knew this is done. We're over. And he went over to Whis. He grabs Whis's arm because he's terrified at this moment that they're going to destroy the world. If Piccolo actually sensed 50 times higher than God Form, or even God Form because all of Goku's mortal key became as strong as the God key, then he would not have reacted that way. So why does he react that way? Because Goku's strength at this point is almost entirely made up of the God Key that's burning within him. In his Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3 form, he does not get the multiplier. If he did, Piccolo's reaction would be different. If he did, Goku would have noticed a change in his power, but he did not. So... With all of that said, he doesn't get the multiplier, and that's why we give blue form a 50 times multiplier. A lot of people wonder about, why does the blue form get a 50 times multiplier? Because the blue form is when Goku mixes his Super Saiyan form with the God Key and gets the multiplier. He becomes a Super Saiyan God who is a Super Saiyan. You know, that weird statement he made to Frieza. He was able to combine the two, and that's when he gets the 50 times multiplier, which is the Super Saiyan multiplier. And he goes blue. We haven't seen Goku get the multiplier for Super Saiyan 2 yet. That hasn't actually come up to the line yet. That may be in a later arc sometime that'll happen, but that has not actually occurred at this point. So that brings us to Vegito. How does Vegito work then? Well, it works the same exact way as Goku works. Because Vegito's base is going to be made up of Goku's base and Vegeta's base, which are primarily God Key. It's not their own mortal key that's making it up. They are going to increase on our chart to 850 or 9.47 using the multipliers that we did in the last chart. But for their Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3 forms, they are not going to get the multipliers. They just don't because they don't get the multiplier until they go to the blue form. A lot of people are saying Vegito uh, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 is going to be way stronger than blue. It's not going to be way stronger than blue. In fact, we would expect that Vegito wouldn't even go Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2. We would expect if Vegito was fighting someone, he would go immediately from base into blue form. Maybe red because red does have at least a significant jump in power. Um, and an increase in speed, but he shouldn't go Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2. It wouldn't be enough of an increase. And in fact, when we saw Vegito fight Zamatsu, that's exactly what we saw. You didn't see Vegito go Super Saiyan and then 50 times his power or Super Saiyan 2, 100 times his base power. You saw him go right to blue. The reason you saw that is because that's where he got the multiplier. So there is no multiplier with the God form when you have the Super Saiyan forms there. The only time the multiplier occurs is when they're able to mix them together, and then that's when you get the blue form. So this is all different with the God form. And I know a lot of people will probably take issue with it and say, no, you're making things up. But it fits with the context of the anime. It, if he got the multiplier, Goku would have noticed it. He wouldn't have felt the same. If he did get the multiplier, Piccolo would have noticed it when he felt his key, and Piccolo did not notice it when he felt his key. He, he basically sensed the same key that he had always sensed before. So everything is pointing and telling us that he's not getting the multiplier in his Super Saiyan forms, only in the blue form. So, and again, this is fine because we've never dealt with God form before. How would we know how God form would react with Super Saiyan forms? We wouldn't know how it would react, but this is how it's reacting in the anime. In the manga, by the way, they're fixing this mess. In the manga, none of this happened. They completely fixed the fight with Beerus in the manga. So this is the anime only. And if you're not entirely understanding this, and we know we've said this before, please go ahead and check out our video where we looked at all the Super Saiyan forms with the God Key. We went, we discussed it in detail. We'll leave a link below if you need more information before you, you know, get upset about it or you're unsure about it. Click on that link and watch the video so you can see everything in context as far as the evidence is concerned. 
And as far as Kefla goes, people wondering about, well, why does Kefla get a 50 times multiplier for her Super Saiyan form, but Goku doesn't? That's because Kefla's base form has nothing to do with God Key. That's her own form. That's her own power. That's what we're saying. The key within Goku is almost entirely God Key. She gets the multiplier because it's all her mortal key. And so you get the regular normal 50 times multiplier. Goku can't get that multiplier until he masters combining the two. And he did master it. That's where he went the blue form. So that's how we explain the two of them. And that's really why, in the end, if you thought Kefla is broken in some way, you are correct. Because of her being able to do this without God Key, this is why she is a very broken character. And anybody who thought that, Congratulations, you're right. That's why she breaks the chart. And we are in no way trying to defend Kefla's position here. Yeah. She just is there. She they, she was written in there. The context shows her there. We don't necessarily think she should be there. She just is. So we don't defend where the writers put her. We just have to scale her where she's at. And so with that said, that's how we handle that. We're going to move on to Anna Raza. Take a look at this uh, circle here. The reason I'm circling here is because we, in order to scale Anna Raza, the only way we can really do it is to look at the people he was fighting. He was fighting Goku at, in God Form Blue and Vegeta God Form Blue. And both of them were probably weakened at that point. Not probably, they were. Gohan, who's weakened as well. And 17, and he's fighting Frieza in the golden form. Yeah, and I think we can all say that they're either near blue form or below it. I would say that, yeah. Or Frieza, you can make an argument. He has the ability yeah, to go yeah. higher. But everyone he was fighting with is within this circle here, at least, or close. So that means you need to consider he's fighting basically five people who are there or lower. So what kind of strength would Anaraza need to put on the performance that he put on? To be honest with you, he wouldn't need a crazy amount of extra strength. You see this circle up here in the red? This is a completely different tier or level of fighters. Once you reach that level, you are in a different zip code at this point. The, the fight itself, there is actually no fight. If Anaraza was up at this level, there would be no fight. 17 wouldn't actually hit Anaraza. There would He would never touch him. Anaraza would easily move away from everything. And there would be no, you know, they're fighting, they're throwing out their energy key blast at him and he's throwing his energy key blast back there's none of that he's completely annihilating all of them yeah i pretty much call this red circle here the god zone like you're reaching the power of the gods so th th that's how you have to sort of think of these type of strengths at that point so where do we place anaraza well we place him right at this location here we think this is pretty good area obviously there's no way to 100 percent place him um but in this area of the chart, he's actually 20, more than 25 times stronger than Super Saiyan uh, Blue Goku. If he's 25 times stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and he's fighting against Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Frieza, and 17, he's going to be able to put on the performance that he put on. It makes complete sense that he would be doing the kind of attacks. I mean, obviously, he was punching through dimensions, which is awesome. I love that. Um, he His blast was kind of mixing with theirs. And even, I, I honestly, I think he had more strength than he was even showing, but he had a great weakness in his generator. So if they could continue going on, I think you would actually see more and more strength from him. But it would not be on a God-tier level strength. His level of strength was not not up in that same place. So a lot of people trying to compare Anaraza with Kefla, Super Saiyan 2, it's not actually that much of a close comparison. Ke Unfortunately, guys, listen, we're with you on this. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Kefla and Super Saiyan level 2 would would absolutely destroy Anaraza. She just would. She's in a different place. There would be no contest. It would not happen. So, you know, this is where just about where he would be placed based off of the performance that he had. If he was too much higher than this, there would have been no battle at all occurring. He would have just completely annihilated them. But at 25 times stronger with the five of them and the techniques that they have, they were able to just edge him out because of his weakness and so that's why we put him in this location so this is the updated chart here we got everything here for you and we're looking forward to adding some new people on here this is getting pretty good i mean we're getting really really precise with all of this and uh it's a good way to check out to see when upcoming battles happen how people stack up against each other so we wanted to throw this out there to you quickly just to address some questions that people had and place anaraza in there and just talk a little bit more about kefla in relation to the spirit bomb yeah guys make comments i mean we really do look at all of them we read them all actually this chart was 
so a little bit based off of comments because we had so many about Vegito and Kefla and the Spirit Bomb. So we really felt we needed to make this because we listen to you guys. We really take your um, suggestions seriously and we try to work them out if we can um, with our chart. So please keep on commenting. Absolutely. We would by no means claim perfection because we actually keep changing things. We keep the same foundation. We keep the yeah. same structure with our chart. Now that doesn't change. But little tweaks here and there can always happen based off of the evidence that's shown. And so we want to use all evidence here, as much evidence in context that we possibly can to show that the scaling is correct. So we hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we wanted to get this out to you quick. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to this point, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you along with us. As always, this is Vinny. And this is Joe. Until next time.